The international cyber attacks on Xbox and PlayStation. An FBI operation ends in the arrest of a teenager in Southport. The attacks affected thousands of users over the busy Christmas period. Also tonight, Manchester's chief constable won't be prosecuted over the fatal shooting of an unarmed man after the dramatic collapse of a court case. I'm in Ellswick where there were concerned voices at a meeting last night where residents discussed the latest developments in fracking. And why it's good to talk talk, the small kindness of a TV engineer which meant so much to a grieving husband. It touched me so much and I don't think I'll ever forget it. A teenager from Southport is in custody tonight following an international investigation into the Christmas cyber attacks on PlayStation and Xbox systems. The man, who's not yet been named, was arrested in a joint FBI and British operation. He's also being investigated for a number of other offences. Jill Dummigan reports. Christmas disappointment for millions of Xbox and PlayStation users, a global cyber attack which blocked the site. You've got you know, tens of thousands of people with new consoles they're trying to get online. Between them, something like 160 million users, and many of them could not access services. That means they could not play the games they just bought, they could not play some of their existing games, and they certainly couldn't buy new games or new downloadable content. Police launched an international manhunt. Today, that led to this semi in a quiet street in Southport. Early this morning, a police van turned up and an 18-year-old man, who's not yet been named, was led away. He's being held on suspicion of unauthorised access to computer material. None of the neighbours wanted to go on camera, but one woman told me how she'd seen the police van outside the house this morning. Others described the teenager as quiet but friendly, a very pleasant young man. The joint FBI and British operation are looking at a number of offences, including this. Swatting, when a hoax call is made to law enforcement forces in the United States. At the time of the Sony attacks, a hacking group called the Lizard Squad said they'd caused the problems. A man claiming to be from the group told Five Live at the time the company should have had better protection. I told that this would come on Christmas Day. Um, they saw it, they just let it go over their heads and they still can protect themselves against um, a couple of, um, as you say, people that have barely lived. It's not known whether this arrest links back to that group. UK cybercrime units are now examining electronic and digital devices taken from the family home today. Jill Dummigan, BBC Northwest Tonight, Southport.